Good day, Cochrane. Welcome to Fireside Chat, February 27th uh, edition. Uh, where's the month gone? February seems to be flying by. It must be uh, a sign of how busy we are. At least uh, I've been busy, so uh, I'm not complaining at all. I've enjoyed every minute uh, that I've been mayor, but uh, I have been super busy all over the place, which I will get to later in my mayor's report. Uh, anyways, moving on. We had a shorter agenda last night. Uh, I've been told that our March agendas will not be so short, so that we should enjoy these while we can. Uh, anyways, shorter agenda. Our first uh, business or order of business was uh, a delegation from Build Calgary. That is uh, B-I-L-D. Build Calgary is a organization that is made up of members of municipalities and uh, builders and developers of the Calgary region, and they help. Uh, the region liaise between the municipality members and the uh, development and building industries. So they will be helping us, um, our staff that is, with our land use bylaw review that is uh, we've funded through the budget for this year. They will also be helping uh, guide uh, the creation of our off-site levy bylaw and that is the bylaw that uh, we the town can levy fees against uh, developers for when they come forward with land use to help pay for infrastructure such as our bridge, um, road improvements, uh, water and sewer upgrades, etc. So uh, very important. Uh, they're also helping liaise with the growth management board from what, for which I sit on and that is the uh, newly appointed uh, regional growth board. And they also host a series of lectures and talks for learning events for their members. Uh, I have not yet been to one, but I would like to attend one in the future. So they gave us a uh, report last night of what they do and who they are and reached out to council to uh, basically just tell us a little bit about themselves. Uh, next, we moved into uh, committee appointments. Uh, as you know, council has a few committees that help guide us through, uh, we can't be everywhere all the time, so we have committees set up across the community to help uh, guide us in decision making. Uh, so a few of those, uh, oh, by the way, thank you to the public at large who put their names forward uh, and council voted last night to appoint Jenna Graham to the Subdivision Appeal Board and Margaret Stevens to the FCSS Planning Board. So thank you to those two people. You were successful in your bid to be on a council committee. So thank you again. Next, uh, probably the most important thing we had on the agenda was a report from our finance department. Uh, Ms. Paige Milner gave us a report on how, with the changes to the Municipal Government Act through the province, that municipalities now must have a three-year budget process. So I'm just gonna read a little bit from our report last night that uh, um, the Modernized Municipal Government Act and as per the Municipal Corporate Planning Regulation, municipalities must adopt as a minimum standard a written three-year financial plan and five-year capital plan in addition to the annual budget. So this is a bit of a change from how we've done things in the past in Cochrane uh, and this is changing all across the province but we now must come forward with a three-year uh, plan for our budget. So we're quite excited about this because it will, be, it will give us a longer term, a bigger snapshot, if you will, of how the town's uh, three-year planning for how we're gonna spend money, um, implement new staff, buy new uh, capital uh, improvements, uh, fund capital uh, expenditures, such as uh, road improvements, bridges, uh, Centre Avenue, uh, rail crossings, that type of thing. So everyone will see three years in advance uh, what the plan is, uh, what the tax rate could be, should be set at for three years rather than just the single year. So how this will affect um, you and the community, those people and groups that need to or that rely on our budget annually for, in, for income, well, maybe it's a grant, etc will now come to council at this October for a three-year plan. Uh, and that's not saying that we were, it, it would be locked in stone, but uh, we will then revisit it annually to make sure that we've got it right or maybe something's changed, um, but it's a shift from how we've done things in the past. 
So that's come down from the government, so we are aligning ourselves with that legislation. Uh, as part of that, I'm happy to announce that our own staff, the admin team here at the town, has implemented with this uh, new three-year strategy a, an upgraded, uh, improved communication and public engagement piece. So we are trying to get the message to the public about the, the budget uh, in a lot of different ways. So there will be um, community town hall meetings where uh, as, as early as March 6th where uh, we will have draft council priorities that will go out and you can give us feedback on that. Um, there will be, um, after the budget is uh, drafted, uh, staff will be going out to different community areas around town to engage with people to allow you to have feedback on what you think the, the budget looks like. Um, give us feedback, then the town staff will bring it forward to council with uh, your, uh, your input Im implemented into that. So I'm quite excited about uh, our improved public engagement. That is something that uh, all of council is very, um, very interested in improving in our community. Um, so maybe I'll just touch on a little bit on the public engagement piece. Uh, March 6th, as I mentioned, which is uh, coming up soon. Uh, we've blown through February, so here we are in March already. Uh, community town hall meeting, and that will be, sorry, I'm gonna look at my notes here quickly. Don't wanna get it wrong. Um, Tuesday, March 6th is the draft of our council priorities. And the council priorities are council met a couple weeks back to look at uh, what initiatives that we would really like to get done in our term of uh, council here in this next four years. So by no means is this the entire list, but this is the top priority list that council has come up with that we would like to work on. So we will be at the Spray Lakes Family Sports Centre in the Curling Lounge from 1 to 3 on March 6th and again from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, there will be child care available for that so you can come and give your uh, your feedback on maybe what we've missed what you like about it um, what you'd like to see in included or just say hello to a few of us that will be there and say great job guys um, another public engagement is also around our smart cities initiative which is uh, lined up for thursday this march 1st or this thursday march 1st from 7 to 9 p.m at the alliance church and again, uh, child care will be provided for that. So uh, that was pretty much our council meeting. Oh, other than we voted on a couple of notices of motion. Councillor Nagel had a notice of motion to uh, direct staff to bring forward a uh, RE, uh, part of the land use bylaw. He would like a zoning called residential estate. Um, he amended his motion a little bit to include it in our land use bylaw uh, that is being, I mentioned earlier that we're looking at our land use bylaw this year and we're going to uh, update it. So he, would, he asked administration to include looking at the residential estate as part of that and that passed through council last night. Um, another one that he had brought forward was uh, to repeal the garburetor ban. Uh, council debated back and forth on that one and it was close, but uh, that one was defeated. We will not be repealing the carburetor ban at this time. Uh, and that was pretty much it for uh, council last night, other than I will give you a brief mayor's report on what I was up to over the last couple of weeks. Uh, as you may know, I was at the United Church uh, free lunch a um, couple of Tuesdays ago. Uh, the United Church offers a free lunch every week. If you haven't uh, checked it out, you should. Um, Councillor Flowers and Councillor Fideko and I were there making lunch and we helped serve lunch to all the people in attendance. So that was great. Thank you to the United Church for the invite and for providing free lunch. Uh, I then attended the Youth Council meeting that was here in our own council chambers. Very proud of that group. They've done an excellent job and um, we hosted them in the chambers and they, they had their council meeting here and asked some great questions and had some good feedback and uh, learned what it was like to be a councillor for a day in uh, our own Cochrane council chambers. Um, I toured the Humane Society last uh, Friday, I think it was, where you may have seen a picture of me holding a puppy. Um, that puppy, I think they're uh, Tracy Keith, the person who uh, 
operates the Humane Society, I think, set me up. She had me hold a puppy and by Sunday I had taken a puppy home for my own family. So we are now proud owners of a new dog and uh, I will be getting a dog license here right away as the town staff have reminded me that as a responsible pet owner I must license my dog. So uh, moving on, uh, chamber breakfast, thank you to the chamber. Last week we had the breakfast here in the Hall of Vision very well attended. I think we had around 90 people spoke about uh, the town and what we've been up to as a council up till this date. Uh, there will be two more of those breakfasts coming up so watch for that. Next one's in June. Uh, job fair on the weekend. Great attendance. I uh, was again right here in the ranch house where um, the town economic development department hosted uh, uh, businesses in town and region to uh, host a job fair to come and, and try and hire uh, potential candidates for the upcoming season. And lastly, I proclaimed the February 25th to March 3rd Freedom to Read Week. And as part of that, I will be reading at uh, Ranch View School in the grade two class coming up here in March. So I've got to brush up on my reading skills to read to the grade twos. Uh, otherwise, that was it for the week. The only thing I will leave you with at the end here, and hopefully everybody's watching to the end because this is riveting, um, please tune in next time as I'm going to have a special guest. We have a very special announcement to make and my guest and I um, will be doing the fireside chat together so hopefully I can mix it up and make it a little more fun for people to watch but uh, we at the end of that we will have a great announcement I'm very excited about and uh, so yes please tune in next time for uh, my special guest and a fireside chat announcement. And if you would like to be a special guest, please contact me at any time. You can reach out to me on email, phone call, Facebook message, whichever. Again, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.